All right, guys. Off to another Monday. We're starting off with crocodile breathing, breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. 30 seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one, and begin. Exercise one. Concentrate on making them as deep a breath as you can. We don't want shallow breathing. We want nice, strong breathing in through the nose, big breath, out through the mouth, violently let that exhale out. Rest. We're going to stay on the floor and we're going to do lying dynamic black burns. So on this one, we're thinking about jumping jacks, right? So we're lying down. We're going to bring our hands over top of our head and then back behind our back. Go ahead and begin over top of our head, back behind our back. So it's kind of like a lying jumping jack. If you can't touch behind your back, that's fine. Just as good a range of motion as you can create. If it's just down to your side, that's cool. Just go to that and then come back through. Rest. Good. We're going to do lateral doctor pulses next with rotation. So we're going to put one knee in the ground and one leg out to the side, nice and straight. Three, From here, what we're going to two, do is we're going to sit back on our heel. Exercise three. Oh, sorry, tactical frogs. We're going to do tactical frogs instead. Sorry. Driving those hips forward and back. I got one ahead of myself. Knees a little bit wider, driving your hips forward and sitting back on your heels. Driving your hips forward, sitting back on your heels. All right, now we have lateral adductor pulses. So we're gonna keep one knee in the ground, then one leg straight out to the side. What we're gonna do is sit back on our heel just a little bit, stick our arm through our armpit area, and then we're gonna rotate up to the sky. You really wanna to try to reach through on both sides. So reach all the way underneath, and also all the way up to the sky, having the hand, head follow the hand all the way up. Control back down. Doesn't need to be crazy fast. It's just more about control and letting the upper back try to stretch out as much as possible. All right, guys, we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to switch sides. Again, sit that butt back on that heel just a little bit so you get a little bit of hip Three, two, activation. One. And begin. Five. It's going to rotate from side to side, up and down. All right, guys, go ahead and stand up for me. We're going to do butt kicks next. So butt kicks are more like a, you can do a march in place with a butt kick or just a running in place Three, butt kick to cool. Just grab, two, take the heel. One. Man, I am way off today, guys. Hand walks. Sorry, I'm skipping exercises each one. Hand walks. I have it on my board, I promise. I'm just mentally on the next one already. Hand walking out. You can add a push up in if you want at the end of it. And when you walk out to that position, make sure that you don't drop those hips too Three, far, just a normal two, plank position. One. Rest. Okay, now we're on the butt kicks. Again, running in place with the butt kick, grab that heel, drive that heel up, Three, try to kick yourself two, in the butt. One. Exercise seven. Begin. That's a little tough on your knees. You can go nice and slow with it and just pull that butt slowly up and touch the heel, touch uh, your heel towards your butt. All right, guys, we're going to end with linear hops. Linear hops will be our last one, jumping forward and back. Three, two, one. Exercise eight. Begin. We can also do a linear two-step shuffle on this one. 
we're going forward and back our feet, but otherwise just jumping forward and back. Nice, even pace. Doesn't have to be crazy fast. Our goal is just to keep our body moving. If you're feeling a little too much in your calves, go over to that linear two-step shuffle. And rest, guys. Good job. Go ahead and grab yourselves a quick drink. Today, um, we're going to need a few tools if you have them. None of these require tools, just these are options. So we are doing bootstrappers, so you could use uh, a kettlebell or a dumbbell. I would go real, a little bit lighter on that one because we have a lot of volume in this one today. So 12, uh, so we have uh, bootstrappers could use a kettlebell or dumbbell. We're doing rows as well, so you could do dumbbell rows or band rows, like a bent over row or a seated row. Um, we do have a variation of a pike push-up. So if you can't do a pike push-up, we could do shoulder presses. So that could use a band as well. So you could, if you have a band, a band would be good to have close to you um, and either a set of dumbbells or a kettlebell. And Nathan's gonna, we're gonna have Nathan demonstrate all these exercises. You can kind of see from there which variation you're gonna want of each one. So the way today's circuit works is an every minute on the minute, but what it's gonna be, it's gonna be a two minute variation of that. So what you're gonna do is every two minutes, you'll do all these exercises inside of a two minute window. And let's say the thing takes you a minute 30, then you get 30 second rest period, okay? And if it, if it takes you a minute 50, then you only get a 10 second rest period. If it takes you a minute, you get a full minute rest period. So you're kind of earning rest. So our goal is the things that we teach next, we have five exercises a day. What we teach next, we're going to try to get done all inside that minute. We have 10 rounds or inside that two minutes, we have 10 rounds to get through. So your rest period is really built in that whatever you can get done. So variation number one is going to be a bootstrapper. So we have a body weight bootstrapper. We're going to sit down in that position, drive those hips all the way up and all the way down. You'll do 12 of every exercise we're going to do today. Take that'll be 12. You can make it a little bit harder by adding a dumbbell or a kettlebell to it. Same idea, up and down. If you can't do that, you can always do a couch sit. Um, so we're just trying to take some pressure off, just sitting down onto like a couch or into a bench or anything of that nature. If you have trouble with bootstrappers. So you'll do 12 of those. You'll go right into your next exercise. So you're moving all these at your own pace. Your next exercise is a variation of a row. So it could be a dumbbell row. If you have dumbbells, we're pulling towards the bottom of the rib cage. So it's going to be 12 of these again. You could do the same thing with a band where you're standing inside of a band. Same idea, pulling towards the bottom of the rib cage. Superman chest the whole time, which means that you're keeping that butt back, strong chest. From there, we could turn it into a seated variation. Seated only works if you have a band. It won't work for dumbbells. Pulling towards the bottom of the rib cage. Um, if you don't have any bands at all, we're going to do a bent over T today. So we're going to do that same position as an RDL. We're going to drive our hips back and we're just going to do a T where we're squeezing those shoulder blades together. Okay, so all of those variations will be 12. From there, we have jackknives. So it's going to be 12 of five different exercises. So from here, we're going to tuck towards our body in and out. Each time you come in and out is one, two, three. From there, we can do a hands and knee crunch instead. So on this one, we're going to be lying down, chest tall, coming all the way up and down. We want to make sure that we're keeping that head in position. We're not tucking that chin. So you have 12 of one of those two options. Number four is going to be a pike push-up. So a pike push-up is a shoulder exercise. So we're going to drive those hips up like a downward facing dog. He's going to have his eyes open at his toes. He's going to drop his head down and he's just going to press out of that bottom. So we're just doing like a push-up position with the, with the shoulders. You'll do 12 of those. It's going to be quite hard for a lot of people, so you can use a band shoulder press instead on this if you need. So you're standing on the band, up, pressing over top. You can use a red or a black band, any band variation is fine on that. You have 12 of those. Try to use just your arms, not your legs. And then from there, if you can't do that, you don't have either of those tools, can't do those, we could always do a, a Y as well if we need to. Just in case you guys don't have any of those tools and can't do the pike push-up, a Y works too. Okay, so anything that we're doing, just remember it's 12. The last thing we have is a seal jack. So seal jack is 12 jumping jacks where we're crossing our arms. You can always do a step out jack as well. Just counting each leg on that step out one because we want to get through it at the same pace. It's going to be one leg, two legs, just as going to be one, two, three. That allows us to get done in time so you have enough rest period. So let's say I took Nathan a minute 30. So he has a 30 second break and then he's going to start round two. Minute 30, let's take that, it takes him a minute 40, then you have a 20 second break next round, okay? So get your tools ready. Make sure your water bottles are close because you might not get a lot of rest time. 
crank your music up to whatever level you can. I'll try to keep calling out all the exercises throughout. Just remember of everything, it's 12 of each, okay? All right, guys, let's get in position. We are starting off with bootstrappers first. Bootstrappers first. You have 12 bootstrappers followed by 12 rows. All right, I'm just making sure everybody in their video is ready to go. Just got some people kicking on their music real quick. Here we go. Three, two, one, begin. Exercise one. All right, guys, you have 12 bootstrappers or couch sits. Remember, weight is fine. You can do it body weight too. Right after that, you have 12 rows. So that's dumbbell or banded, or you can always do a T, a bent over T, if you don't have any weights. It'll be 12 of each. So next one's a row. Superman chest the whole time, which means our back stays nice and tight. 12 of those pulling towards the bottom of the rib cage. From there, you'll have a jackknife or a hands and knee crunch. And there's 12 of those. Jackknife is remember, is that boat pose position where your uh, hips are kind of like the anchor point, pulling the knees towards the chest. Otherwise, the hands and knee crunch works too. After 12 of those, you have pike push ups. Pike push up or shoulder press or a Y. That's the one minute mark. Pike push up, shoulder press, or Ys. Good, keep that butt nice and high. We want to make sure it's a shoulder exercise, it's not a chest exercise. And the last thing you'll end with is 12 seal jacks. 12 seal jacks. All right, guys, got 30 seconds left. Try to keep moving at a good pace so you get a little bit of rest time. Got 10 seconds before we start round two. Remember, we'll start off with bootstrappers again. Bootstrappers. And bootstrappers begin. If you had a little trouble finishing on that one, some things to change up is possibly the pike push-ups that took people a lot longer. So you can always change the shoulder presses is if that took you a little too long. Um, that was probably the main modification watching everybody that needs to be made. Also just go a little bit quicker on your transitions. Uh, there's not a lot of time in between. So you got to move quickly from one to the other. So you have 12 bootstrappers, 12 rows and 12 jackknives. After 12 jackknives, you have 12 pike push-ups. So jackknives can also be hands and knee crunches. One minute left. After the pike push-ups, you'll end with seal jacks. Pike push-ups, shoulder presses or Ys. Yeah, remember Ys are coming over the head. After the pike push-ups, you'll end with 12 seal jacks. Good job guys, still 20 seconds left. All right, everybody got done in time that time. I think the big thing with that transition, make sure your transitions are nice and quick. I think that helped out a lot. We got five seconds. We're gonna go back to bootstrappers for round three. Two, one, exercise one. Begin, round three bootstrappers. Good, drop that butt. Make sure that head's coming up as you're dropping the hips. Then we're gonna to go to rows next, you have 12 rows. If you're feeling a little too much in your back and you have a band, you can always do these seated. 
if you're feeling it too much in your lower back. I mean, it's supposed to be in your back a little bit, but your lower back. And then from there, you'll go to the jackknives or handed knee crunch. Twelve of those. After that, you have twelve pike push-ups. Got one minute, or twelve shoulder presses, or twelve Ys. And you'll end with twelve seal jacks. Twelve pipe push-ups, twelve shoulder presses, end with those twelve seal jacks. Try to move those seal jacks as quick as possible. That way, you can earn yourself a little bit more rest. You've got twenty seconds. Good job, guys. We'll be starting round four. We're going back into those bootstrappers. We've got five seconds. Three, two, one. And one. begin. We're starting round four. 12 quick bootstrappers. After bootstrappers, you have rows. If you guys are starting to wear out when you get to the pike pushes, you're wearing out a little too much on those. Don't be afraid to do band shoulder presses. After the rows, you have jackknives. Legs in, pull them towards the chest, then drive them away from the body. 12 jackknives. You have 12 pike push ups or shoulder presses or Ys. One minute. Keep the eyes looking at the toes on those pike push ups. Eyes looking at the toes. You're going to end with 12 seal jacks. Trying to use those as speed seal jacks so we can buy as much rest period as possible. Thirty seconds. Great job, guys. We do have 10 rounds today. We have 10 seconds, but we have no finisher, no finisher. Three, two. We're going to start off with bootstrappers and begin. 12 bootstrappers. That's getting a little too tough on your knees. You can always do a couch sit if needed. From there, we have rows, seated or standing. Superman chest the whole time. Pull those shoulder blades back nice and tight. After 12 rows, you have 12 jackknives or hands and knee crunches. After the jackknives, you have 12 pike push-ups. One minute. And you'll end with 12 seal jacks.
job, guys. 20 seconds left. Just finished that halfway point. We have five rounds left. Make any modifications as you need in this last half of round, starting off with the bootstrappers. Two, one. And Two, begin. One. Drive those hips up and sitting down. Hips up, sitting down. Good job, guys. The bootstrapper technique looks great today. Everybody looks nice and mobile. From there, we have 12 rows. After the rows, you have 12 jackknives. After the jackknives, you have 12 pike push-ups. One minute. Good, make sure you're getting good depth on those pike push-ups. If your elbows are barely moving, it, it might need to move over to some bands. And after the pike push-ups, you have tw you'll end with 12 seal jacks. So you should go 12 jack knives, 12 pike push-ups, 12 seal jacks. You have 30 seconds left. Good job, guys. We have 10 seconds. We'll be starting round seven. Back with bootstrappers. Three, two, one. And begin. Time. 12 bootstrappers followed by 12 rows. Rows are definitely one of the quicker exercises. Just make sure you concentrate on that shoulder technique, pulling those shoulder blades back, keeping those stable. After 12 rows, you guys can go down to 12 jackknives or hands and knee crunches. After the jackknives, you have 12 pike push-ups. Have one minute. And wrap the jackknives, pike push-ups, and you'll end with 12 seal jacks. And then with 12 seal jacks, we have 30 seconds left. So I guess we have 10 seconds. We're going to be going to round eight. And begin, 12 bootstrappers. After 12 bootstrappers, you have 12 rows. Good job, guys. None of these exercises are overly hard. It's just that combination of each one. Just got to keep moving at a nice, quick pace. From there, you have 12 uh, jackknives. And 
or hands and knee crunches are fine too. After that, you'll have 12 pike push-ups or shoulder presses or Ys. There are 12 pike push-ups, shoulder presses or Ys. Eyes looking at those toes if you're doing the pike push-up. Shoulder pressures, make sure your legs aren't moving. You're going to end with 12 seal jacks. Job guys, 25 seconds. We have 10 seconds. We're getting ready for round nine. We only have two rounds left, guys. Great job. Keep working. That volume should really be adding up now. Three, two. All right, one. here we go. Exercise Begin one. round nine, bootstrappers. Really concentrate on that quickness between transitions. That saves you a lot of time. If we're taking too many breaths there, then we're not going to have enough time at the end to, re to recover. 12 bootstrappers followed by 12 rows. After the 12 rows, you have 12 jackknives or hands and knee crunches. One minute. After the jackknives, you have 12 pike push ups or shoulder presses. And you'll end with 12 seal jacks. Good job, guys. End with 12 seal jacks. We'll be going into our final round. 30 seconds left. Great work, guys. 10 seconds left. Going into that final round. One more set of bootstrappers. We're going to be starting off with 12 of those. Three, two, one. And Hips begin. Up one. Hips up, dropping down. Hips up, dropping down. After the 12 bootstrappers, you have 12 rows. Superman chest, keep that chest strong. And then from there, you have 12 jackknives. Remember, last thing, last time for everything, last time for everything. After 12 jackknives, you have 12 pike push-ups. One minute. After 12 pike push-ups or shoulder presses, you'll end with 12 seal jacks and you will be done. Keep pushing, try to finish till the end. After 12 seal jacks, you're done. Pike, 12 pike push-ups, 12 seal jacks, and that's it. 25 seconds, guys.
10 seconds. And timer is complete. Awesome.